Hello everyone, um, it's nice to be presenting to you in Aberdeen, uh, albeit virtually or online. When you look at this title, How to Do Algebra in Primary School, you might be thinking, this guy is crazy. Um, algebra is often seen as something that really can only be handled towards the end of, of the secondary phase maybe for many students. Um, I think one of the big problems is that there's a big disparity and separation between topics in mathematics and it starts in the primary school um, and the maths curriculums that you're working with don't help very much either in many ways. So what is this nutter going on about? Well I want to give you a heads up about something that's coming out later on this summer and that's um, a new version of GeoGebra and with it is GeoGebra Prime. This is the main screen for downloading GeoGebra. It's totally free and the name actually comes from uh, an attempt to connect algebra and geometry together in the same package. Um, now also included in this is a spreadsheet facility as well, so you've effectively got spreadsheets, geometry and algebra all together in one package and it's very powerful. For example, here's one that I made earlier. Um, it, this is an online dynamic worksheet basically to demonstrate Haggis theorem which is part of origami and paper folding. A lot of fractions work in algebra but way beyond what would be going on in a primary school at least in most primary schools I expect. There are however loads and loads of worksheets that primary school teachers have already developed in GeoGebra and if you don't know about them you should actually take the opportunity to go in and have a look through and see what's already there. Um, but really what's exciting for me is that the power of GeoGebra has, has been distilled into a new form. Um, this is going to be launched um, as GeoGebra Prim or GeoGebra Prime and basically what they've done is they've taken the huge set of tools in the full GeoGebra package and uh, restricted them so that it's basically one tool per button and it's not as complex or as difficult to use for um, younger um, or less able students. Um, these are just some of the restrictions that you can see or uh, things that have been put in. Where it's been put by default you can actually go in and change this yourself if you feel it's important for your teaching and learning. This is an extract from the English curriculum for uh, number and algebra, um, ME2. Um, I'm using this because basically I'm familiar with the English curriculum. Um, obviously in the um, Scottish curriculum for excellence you'd be looking at something like patterns and relationships which I think are the um, 13A, 13B, 13C, 13D um, in the MTH if my memory serves me correctly. Anyway, so at level 4 um, which should be around about 10 or 11 years old pupils recognise and describe number patterns and relationships including multiple factor and square they begin to use simple formulae expressed in words. Pupils use and interpret coordinates in the first quadrant. And wouldn't it be great if they could do all of this in one package? So this is where my madness comes in. I think actually there are ways of approaching the connections and maintaining the connections by using something like GeoGebra Prim. Um, so let's imagine that the um, pupils have been studying odd number and odd number patterns. What we're looking at here are the three types of view. There's a, an algebra window, a graphics window and a spreadsheet window. At the moment I've got the spreadsheet window selected so the tools at the top are for the spreadsheet window. Um, it's basically one tool per button uh, except for the one at the end which is the tools button and allows you to actually select some tools out. I'm going to be using the create list of points one later on. So we've been investigating odd numbers. And I want to set up um, a little pattern or investigation to see what's going on. So I just simply type in 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. And we're going to say that that's the first odd number, the second odd number, 
the third odd number, the fourth odd number, and the fifth odd number. Notice we're not even talking about looking for formulas or equations or anything like that. So what I'm going to do now is create a list of points. Um, I wonder what these look like on a graph. So highlight the cells. Click. And let's call this uh, odd numbers. And we'll create it. And you'll notice what's happened. All the points have been plotted for me on the graphics window. And there's this thing called list 1 that's appeared over. And that's simply referring to the contents of each of the cells in the spreadsheet. So if I change now to the graphics view, you'll notice the set of tools along the top has changed. And this one shows me the last tool that I used. Now what would happen if I could actually just draw a line through all of these points? Well, it happens that there's a tool over here. Line through two points, select the two points. So what happens if I draw a line between this point and this point? Oh look, I've got a little equation that's appeared. That actually I think is very powerful. Um, and really I don't think I need to say any more about the potential for this kind of instant appearance and link between the algebra, uh, the geometry, and then how you could go into perhaps maybe using this algebra as a formula in the spreadsheet and showing the links between them all and actually expanding the experience of, of the investigation um, and actually helping students to recognise that some algebraic patterns may be based on um, quadratic um, sequences rather than linear sequences. Um, you could then go on and um, introduce the, the even numbers and the odd numbers and add the odd numbers together and look at triangle numbers. And so the possibilities are endless. Um, but I wanted to introduce you this to you now uh, largely because um, it's going to be about 100 days or so till the start of the new year uh, when you face your Battle of Waterloo. Um, so it's something to think about now, play about with during the summer. Um, I think it's really great. You get help online um, as well um, if you're connected online. Um, if you've got any questions as well, uh, do contact me at Twitter. Uh, all the links you saw here are on this final screen. And for the QR geeks, there's a wee picture for you. Have a good night and I hope to see you in person sometime.